videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. In 2016, award-winning actress Gwyneth Paltrow spent almost $5 million for a teardown property on a stunning 2.4 acre lot with views of the ocean in Montecito. After hiring the architects from Roman and Williams who also designed her all-white New York City loft and her interior designer friend Bridget Romanek, Gwyneth created her dream home from the ground up. More recently, the Goop founder decided to give a look at her forever house that she shares with her husband Brad Falchuk and the European style abode is full of light and one of a kind details all over as well as spaces like a sea blue colored spa and a show stopping living room. While this is Gwyneth's main residence, she's owned plenty of impressive properties over the years including her lavish Tribeca loft and her Hamptons estate which she maintains to this day. In 2016, Gwyneth Paltrow paid about $5 million for a 2.4 acre lot with ocean views located in the upscale Montecito, California. There was a house on the property, however, it would prove to be a tear down and Gwyneth would start fresh, claiming the place had tons of potential. Fast forward to more recently and the Oscar winning actress finally unveiled the finished look of her dream home. Gwyneth hired Robin Standifer and Stephen Alesh from the firm Roman and Williams to be the architects behind her new home as they also designed her loft in New York City. For the inside, she enlisted interior designer Bridget Romanek, who's also her close friend. After six years of building from the ground up, Gwyneth's home was finally finished. The European style mansion is now where the actress lives with her writer producer husband, Brad Falchuk, and it's simply stunning. But even before the home was completely reimagined, it wasn't too shabby. Before, the home was set to boast four spacious bedrooms, but this could obviously have been reconfigured. The original boat that was situated on the land was built in 1981 in a Palladian style, boasting a front portico built around a small courtyard, while inside there was a 45 foot long great room. Considering Gwyneth lived in London for quite some time, she fell in love with a lot of the classic architecture there. And when it came time to bring this to her home, she wanted to create a Parisian apartment set within an old European barn, something with high ceilings, flooded with lights, a place that feels generous, yet manageable at the same time. Inside her home, there's a mixture of old world elements and modern furniture throughout. Gwyneth's family home has a warm and welcoming foyer which boasts a fireplace with 18th century mantle and black and white stone floors underfoot. Moving to the living room, the impressive space has a light installation as the focal point, while there's also a wet bar made of onyx, a hammock, and a fireplace. In the formal dining room, you'll find hand-painted scenic wallpaper as well as contemporary lighting and furnishings. The gourmet kitchen boasts a plate rack full of colorful Hermes dishes, a rolling ladder, and a range, which Gwyneth made sure was put in a central position so she can chat with her family while cooking their favorite meals like pasta for her kids. Here, there's also another fireplace, which the actress explained was also a necessity, saying, I had a wood burning fireplace in my kitchen when I lived in London and I loved how cozy it made everything feel. So it was a big priority for me to get one in the kitchen here. The coziness from the fireplace is contrasted with the light that streams in from all the windows, brightening the space up. One of Gwyneth's favorite rooms in the house is her powder room, which offers more hand-painted wallpaper and an antique marble sink. But what has got to be the coolest part of her home is the spa. Considering the actress and goop founder is so into wellness, you can't be too surprised that she had a massive Parisian style spa room installed into her mansion. The space is decked out in handmade ocean blue green tile and features a cold plunge, hot tub, steam room, and a sauna. Gwyneth says about this space, I make time to go here almost every day, every time I have to pinch myself. I cannot believe this is our house. It's such a luxury. Another highlight of the home is that now it's also full of eco-friendly features. There are reportedly 60 solar panels, as well as a gray water system, for instance. Outside, you'll find a lush landscape with native plants, charming pathways, and a large outdoor swimming pool. There are also terraces to dine al fresco and other spaces to lounge and take in the stunning views, such as a fire pit gathering area. This is our forever house, says Gwyneth of her stunning and custom Montecito home, and it's not hard to see why. When Gwyneth was still with her ex-husband Chris Martin, they had purchased an abode in the River Lofts Complex located in New York City. More specifically, 
specifically in the Tribeca neighborhood for $5.1 million. This was way back in 2007, and the stylish river lofts is a two building warehouse conversion, while Gwyneth's former unit spanned just under 4,000 square feet of space. The three bedroom, three bathroom spread was redesigned during Gwyneth's time here, as previously mentioned. It was done up by the same exact design team at Roman and Williams, who also are behind her current Montecito home. This New York City loft was transformed into an airy, nearly all white ethereal space simply full of luxury. The whole unit is full of floor to ceiling windows, giving the place a stylish look. And the modern kitchen has marble counters, a center island, and a banquet style seating area. Then the living room has a swing hanging from the ceiling, built from an antique Indian door, giving the family oriented space a playful vibe. The glamorous interiors also had crystal chandeliers in many rooms, as well as colors aside from the whites, such as lavenders, grays, and silvers. And there was also a stately master suite. In terms of amenities, the building boasted a 24-hour doorman, fully equipped fitness center, private elevators, and much more. In 2017, the high-profile pad hit the market for $9.95 million, but it was previously listed a year before for much more, $14.45 million. In the end, Gwyneth's one-time apartment sold for $10.7 million that year to an unidentified buyer. Gwyneth has also long maintained a vacation retreat in the Hamptons, which she keeps quite private. According to records, the place is in the Amagnuset area of the Hamptons, New York, and the actress purchased it back in 2006 for $5.4 million. She still owns the 7,000 square foot mansion, which boasts five bedrooms, 7.5 baths, and much more. While most of what we can see of this property is only from some aerial views, the actress has given some glimpses of it over the years such as in 2007 when the home was in House and Garden magazine. Other highlights of the property include Nanny's Quarters, a large swimming pool, and water views. Gwyneth loves this property so much, she even wed her current partner Brad on the premises back in 2018. We also got a small glimpse at the Hamptons home when the organizing queens of the home edit worked on her place. The home edit post on Instagram to show some photos of the rooms that they worked on here, including Gwyneth's craft and toy storage room and the pantry. The kids room had an all white storage room with colorful and color coded books and toys. Aside from all the cabinets to organize, there was also a small love seat sofa with a candy inspired pillow. The home edit posted a photo of the kids room at the time with the caption. We just spent the most incredible few days at Gwyneth Paltrow's Hamptons house. Our favorite project from the trip and of all time was the playroom. We divided the room into activities on the left and leisure on the right and created zones for reading, games, arts, crafts, and science. Additionally, the company also revamped the actress's pantry, making it light and airy, full of whites, wood, and glass. Since we've now gotten a peek at some of Gwyneth Paltrow's most impressive properties, including her dream home in Montecito, California, that'll bring this house tour to a close. But before we leave, answer me this. If you had your very own spa or wellness retreat on your property, what are some features you couldn't live without? Let me know how you would unwind if you were living like Gwyneth in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer, and if you'd like to check out another tour before you're finished, then stay tuned for this one where we look at the homes of her ex-husband's current partner, Dakota Johnson. Bye! Just last year, actress Dakota Johnson opened the doors of her home for Architectural Digest. While she's all settled in in her dreamy Los Angeles estate these days, it took her a while to move in, and she purchased it back in 2017. Being the daughter of two icons, you may have guessed Dakota's home is fit for Hollywood royalty. While the home is impressive, it's still serene and modest in many ways. In this video, we'll check out Dakota's Hollywood abode. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Dakota Johnson is an actress and model who made her film debut at the age of 10 with a minor appearance in Crazy Alabama, a dark comedy film her mother starred in. Beyond Dakota's own career, she's also the daughter of actors Don Johnson and Melanie Griffith, while her grandmother is none other than Tippi Hendren, whose film career includes classics like Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds and Marnie. Dakota was discouraged from pursuing acting further until after high school when she began auditioning for 
roles in LA. She was cast a minor role in The Social Network and then supporting roles in movies like 21 Jump Street and The Five Year Engagement. In 2015, Dakota got her first starring role as Anastasia in the Fifty Shades film series from 2015 to 2018, which you could say was her big break. From there, she scored more acting roles over the years and even one of my personal faves, Bad Times the El Royale, in which Dakota appeared with an ensemble cast. At the time of this recording, Dakota's net worth is at an estimated $14 million and she put a chunk of that towards her gorgeous home. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We noticed about 95% of you watching aren't subscribed and we're the original celebrity house tour pros, so hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. Today we're checking out where actress Dakota Johnson calls home, aka her beautiful and peaceful Hollywood oasis. We've done videos on the likes of Ashley Simpson and Reese Witherspoon and we'll link to some at the end. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and let me know whose house tour you want to see next. Now let's get into this video. Hi AD, I'm Dakota. Welcome to my house. Dakota's wood framed home features wall sized windows in the living room, perfect for highlighting the crystals in the space, and books line the walls of her home office. From the rooms inside to the citrus trees out back, the Hollywood star's home is a reflection of the things that she loves. While growing up, Dakota was constantly on the road with her famous parents, which taught her a different kind of appreciation for home life. The actress remembers a time when she was delivering an Easter basket to Madonna in 1996, as her then stepfather Antonio Banderas was filming Evita with her in Budapest. While memories like this are amazing, there's still a part of Dakota that was longing for a more grounded life than she had previously. That could explain why she's turned her current and what seems to be her only property into a sanctuary. The actress quietly bought the property in 2016 for $3.55 million in an off-market deal and records show it was acquired by a blind trust linked to celebrity clients. Dakota was so secretive about the purchase that even celeb stalkers and news outlets had a hard time identifying her as the buyer of the Sunset Strip home. News only broke about a year after the purchase and I think that's about when Dakota finally moved in as well. Her wood framed home was built in 1947 by revered mid-century architect Carl Maston and was previously owned by Glee and American crime story creator Ryan Murphy. It's located in Los Angeles, clearly, in the West Hollywood neighborhood and more specifically above of the famed Chateau Marmont. Dakota's famous neighbors include the likes of Kendall Jenner, Sandra Bullock, and just two doors down is Jimmy Kimmel. Sitting on a quarter acre lot, naturally the property is completely walled, gated, and secured with cameras. Listing materials described it as one of the true masterpieces of the modernist movement, meticulously restored with modern systems. Her home boasts three bedrooms and three baths within 3,210 square feet of living space, and Dakota admits it was only the second home she looked at and the first house she ever bought. She explains, I was immediately drawn to how it was clean but also cozy. I thought I'll never want to sell this place. And that seems like the case so far. Among the common spaces, there's a living room with floor to ceiling glass walls and a stone fireplace. The Dakota's fitted with beautiful vintage furniture and a piano. And this is the living room. I hang out in here. I read people kind of are always coming in and out of my house and Everyone hangs out in this room, obviously. One thing that stands out about her place is that it actually looks like somebody lives in it. Many celebrity homes often seem so spotless and minimalistic that it feels like a showroom, while Dakota's house is the opposite. And she has a dog, so that makes the place really a home. Dakota's formal dining room boasts a custom glass table, as well as some uplifting crystals on display. I'm jealous of those. The restored residence has an Eden chef's kitchen with top of the line stainless steel appliances and marble countertops, but it may may not be as big as you'd expect. Dakota painted the kitchen green as well, which she says is her favorite color. Although Dakota didn't invite anyone upstairs, the second level is completely private for her spacious master suite. There are wooden walls, a sitting area, spa-like bath, and views of the city lights. When designing her residence, they installed wood flooring in the master, which includes the bedroom and wardrobe, and for the bathroom, the same concrete as downstairs. While Dakota's entire home is delightful, this one room she feels the most at home in is her office, which she lined with books and memorabilia close to her heart. I actually 
don't really get any work done because I get distracted by everything that's in here. Some of the most notable pieces here are a seating card Patti Smith gave her with her phone number on it, a note from her famous grandmother, and a photo of her appearance on SNL's 40th anniversary show in 2015. A special spot on the wall is reserved for a photo of Hunter S. Thompson, a close friend of Dakota's dad, Don Johnson. Thompson wrote famous books like Fear and Loathing and Las Vegas and the Rum Diary, and he shared a bond with Dakota, acting like a godfather figure. One thing's for sure, Dakota is an old soul. Her antique pieces and unique design in the home showcase her personal style, and since the house is covered in wood, it makes for a warm and intimate space. Moving outside, just beyond the glass sliders in the living room, you'll find a swimming pool. Her backyard is surrounded by nature and greenery providing a ton of privacy and the lower level of the property has a dog run. There's an entertainer space with a barbecue, fire pit and patio and Dakota also shows off a table which was made from the wood of Winston Churchill's yacht. Definitely a piece of history. On an upper level in the yard there's also a hot tub. So I think I'll bring this house tour to an end right there. After looking at Dakota Johnson's one and only house or her Hollywood sanctuary, what did you guys think? I think her home said a lot about her personality and she did a great job putting thought into every room while designing. From the messy bookshelves in her office to the restored vintage furniture, everything about Dakota's home says that you're home. It's no wonder that it helps ground the actress, letting her retreat when her schedule isn't so busy, and I'm sure perfect for the lockdown year that was 2020. Dakota even said about her home, this place is my anchor. So what was your favorite part of the actress's home? What did you like or not like? Let me know down in the comments. Personally, I love the living room best since it's full of vintage furniture and opens to the pool, as well as the nook outside where she has her private hot tub. Not to mention those beautiful crystals she has. I especially love the huge one by the door. Talk about good vibes. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my personal channel and check out my latest video. We'll link it for you. I love getting to know you guys better over there. It's really hard getting angles out here. And I love this color of green. The shade of green, not color of green actually has like a black tie on it it's not just one big green t-shirt just so you know thanks for tuning in don't forget to follow me on instagram and i'll see you all in the next video bye